and white representing Katana. Yeah, and we were talking about the history books earlier with Bushesha. Here's another great example, Sean. Uh, yeah, and, and Bruno's going for his 10th in his weight. So, so that's unprecedented. There is no one close to that. So, you know, imagine if Bruno was 250 pounds. Uh, we'd, everyone would be in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> everyone. Uh, you could make a real strong case in point that Bruno is pound for pound, could be pound for pound best guy. Yeah, the king. Yeah, I mean, the guy is... He parallels, he parallels someone like uh, Demetrius Johnson in the, in the UFC. That's where, very, where yes. He he's just looks so dominant against the competition. Yes. And, uh, um, and, you know, the, the, the critic, I guess that you could say as a critic at the lighter weight classes, there's just not as many people. But you could also say that at the heavyweights. Yeah. You know, at the ultra heavy, they don't have the depth of the divisions. Uh, so, um, and and you could easily say, well, Bouchesh is huge, and that's why he's open weight champion. He's, he's super good, and he's huge. But imagine this guy, as technical as he is, at 250 pounds of muscle. Scary. He would be a scary. He's already a scary human being. You'd have the Army and the Navy investigating, figure out how they can make <laughs> more of those guys. But, he, you know, he... I, I, again, I, I've never done the data with Bruno, but I would love to know his finish rate because it's got to be amongst the highest. Yeah, he's he, he's made short work of, of guys that, that are... Everybody else in the division is extremely competitive yeah. with each other, and, it, and there's times whenever no one is competitive. Yeah, he, he stands well above everyone except Kyotera and... Now that being said, Rodney Gabriel was a finishing machine on my side of the mats when we were watching go. him through earlier. In fact, there was a time whenever him and Bruno were on the mat at almost the exact same time, and he actually finished his opponent I almost I, three I, seconds faster. I saw this. I, I did see, remember this first match of the day, yeah. I think. And I uh, thought, wow, well, we're going to start. seems like decades ago. Yes, it's it does. Sean. And I thought, well, we're going to start out good here. Both mats done in under two minutes. And Bruno working to pass the reverse De La Hiva now. Uh, Barbosa. Now, I, I guess I got to hold myself because how many does Leticia Hibero have in her weight? She has four or five. Four or five in the weight and then an open. She, I don't know that she, she has an open title. I thought she had more titles than that. Leticia? I think she has four or five. Okay. Whatever the minimum is to get into the Hall of Fame, I think she has one. She either has that or one more than that. Okay. Are there any women that have eight? Michelle. Okay, well, there we go. In the women's division might be the, the equivalent, nearly. But the men's division, Bruno is far above everyone for weight class. Maybe Gold maybe medals. Gabby Garcia as well. I'm not sure how many Gabby has, but you know Gabby was racking at two at a time there for a little while. Yeah, again, I'm talking just weight class. Weight oh, class just weight, only. just weight class, just weight class. Nice. They are when they come came on the top momentarily, and Bruno put him back down, but it's going to give uh, Barbosa an advantage. So Barbosa doing a good job here and tying up Bruno, and that's you know that that's where Kyo has always done best with Bruno is when he he ties him up, he ties the legs up, he stops the movement of Malfasini. Malfasini once he gets going, when it's grip free, when he has no, when there are no grips on him, you you've got to watch out. So Barbosa doing an exceptional job of. Really tying up. He's got good grips here. He could pull Bruno forward, maybe even come up for double, and then Bruno breaks off that far grip, the pant leg. And you can see the pressure that, that Bruno is putting on because you can see it in his face. Yep. Ronnie Barbosa, that is, as he feels the pressure. Uh, Bruno Mavacina, but so far able to hold Bruno off. Well, nah. right as I say that, Bruno's got a really nice underhook mm -hmm. here. That's a, that's a good underhook, even with a lapel grip. Uh, around the leg, that's a good underhook. Okay. 
Looking to cut that knee through, but that lapel fed between the legs. Stifling him so far, but. Oh, look this. at this. Rudigatami arm lock now. He's Ooh, got it. Ooh, that's guy. He's got that. Yep. And he gets the tap. Just Talk like that. about a finisher, Sean. That finish rate you were just yep. talking about. Ten, Ten time. Man. Ten time yeah. world champion. And that's what's so impressive. It's not that he wins by an advantage. Or, you know, he, of course they have those, but but he's finished. He's a finisher. Him versus Ari Farias or um, Joao, Joao Miao or Mikey Musumeci. I would love to see some of these matchups that we we won't get to see with him in the roosterweight division. He's essentially cleaned it out ten times in a row now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I but guess that's what you what that's what he, he you do, right? If 